Yellow Productions presents a travel guide for the Schiltorn in Switzerland. I'm 007 Chris. And 008 Cooper. And today we're going to tell you everything you need to know to visit this attraction for great views in Switzerland. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know to visit the Schiltorn, including how to get up here, taking the train to the cable car. We'll explore the town of Murin a little bit, which is kind of right in the middle of the journey. At the top of the Schiltorn, we'll walk through the Piz Gloria. It's a neat rotating restaurant. Talk about some of the James Bond memorabilia and history that's up at this peak. And finally, on our way down, we'll hike to Gimmelwald, which if you're familiar with Rick Steves and his Europe travel guides, he says, Gimmelwald is his favorite town in all of Switzerland. But before all that, let me just tell you a little bit more about what's at the top and then we'll go down to the bottom. So once you take the cable car all the way to the top, you will come into that building about two floors down. Take the escalator up to the top and you get up here to this observatory. I'll talk about the stuff inside in a moment, but really I think what you're here for is the magnificent alpine view. There's this observatory that I'm standing on, but then if you kind of walk out this way and look over here, you can see that there's another viewpoint out there further out, assuming that you're willing to kind of walk on the slippery snow. I guess it depends what time of year there's snow or not, but there's still snow up here in May 28th. Okay, so let's talk about how to get to the Schiltorn. I'm gonna start the journey in this video at Lauterbrunnen. It is the town you see in the valley down below in this shot. It's already in the mountains at about an elevation of 800 meters. You can get here from Interlaken, the major train station in the area, via direct train to Lauterbrunnen. Lauterbrunnen, you're gonna catch the cable car. It leaves every 15 to 30 minutes, depending upon how busy it is. And the total ride to the top takes three minutes. For the most scenic shots, hang out on the side of the cable car looking into the valley. It is pretty awesome. After three minutes, you'll be awarded with a pretty commanding view of the valley, and then you'll arrive at Grootschop, the transfer station. By the way, I'm sure my Swiss-German pronunciation is awful, <laughs> but leave that aside. Anyway, from here, you run off the cable car and you get onto a train, which will be waiting for you right here. This train is another really scenic ride as well. Sit on the left side for the most commanding views. It'll make a quick stop in Winter Egg, which is just an awesome name for a town. And finally, after 15 minutes, we'll arrive here in this really quaint train station. The train will drop you off in Murin, and from Murin you walk about 10 minutes through the town uh, to get to the actual cable car. Pretty hard to get lost in Murin. There's basically two major roads, the left one or the right one. Either way, 10 minute walking will get you to the Schiltorn barn. But let's go ahead and explore Murin a little bit before we take that next cable car ride up. And like a lot of these towns around here, Murin has a light up signboard that'll tell you the status of the skiing trails and also the hiking trails. So you can hike your way back to that cable car to go down to Lauterbrunnen as well. And if you're curious how long any of those hikes take, you can find these yellow signboards. All these towns around here have them, and they'll tell you in hours and minutes how long the various hikes take to the neighboring towns. If all that cable car training and walking has got you thirsty, or it's the high elevation, as you're walking in Mirren, there's one of these convenient Swiss water fountains. And uh, if you've got a bottle of water, just fill it up right here. This is like chilled Evian water. I mean, it's mountain spring water and it's cold. It's delicious. Everything in Switzerland is expensive. So think about every time you drink one of these, it's actually free. So that's about three Swiss francs you're saving right there. Ooh. See you up on the hill. One of the cool things about walking around here, you'll see cows in interesting places. These cows are on the edge of this precipice right below the lunch restaurant. After you're done exploring Murin and admiring the cows, it's time to head up to the cable car up to the Schiltorn. This is the main one. It makes a stop in Berg. It's about 13 minutes from Murin to Berg. It goes every 30 minutes. It's a large cable car. The best views on this one, I think, are up at the top towards the front because it's neat to see the transition between the green grass around Murin to what looks brown and then eventually to snow. When you arrive at Berg, it's an elevation of about 2,600 meters or 8,800 feet. Once you get off the cable car at Berg at an elevation of 2,677 meters, there's the Bistro Berg that on a nice warm day you could get some hot dogs or hamburgers and uh, have a meal out here in the sun. There's also the Thrill Walk, which is a this walkway just down there that we'll see at the moment. And then from here, you can also see the Schlitthorn 
all the way at the top. To get down to the thrill walk from the bistro platform, there's a kind of a metal staircase. You walk down this metal staircase and you go down this metal staircase some more. And then if you take a look this way, you can see people that are basically high above the valley floor. It's a long way down. The thrill walk is included in your admission to the cable car. So definitely do check it out. It can get kind of windy around here. Here's a photo point to tell you where to take good pictures. And, uh, but I will say, wow, this is a, this is probably the thrillingest part of the walk right here. It's the part that you basically walk on a little cable. So if you've ever wanted to be a tightrope artist, you can do it right here. And if we look down, it's probably hard to really tell in video how far down that is, but it is a long way down to the bottom. The thrill walk continues with more thrills. It turns into a glass walkway. And so if you look down, that's too thrilling. I don't know if I can walk anymore. I have to they turn it into a thrill crawl. But if you look down, then you can see my knees, which I'm on, and a long way down. Walking down this thrill walk, I must say, this is an impressive piece of Swiss engineering because this whole thing is just basically sheared into the mountain cliff. I will let you know it's a one-way walk. So you walk one way and you gotta walk back. Uh, and then from right underneath here, if you time it right, you can actually see the cable cars going up above you on this walk. So apparently I started crawling too early. There's this section, this wire tunnel that you have to crawl through to get to the other side. You wanna see me do it? No, I got this microphone and it's too small, so. I'm going back. Thrill walk ends right here after the tunnel where in May there's still snow. All right, we gotta catch the next car. See ya. After you finish the thrill walk, you'll transfer to the next cable car to go all the way to the top. This next cable car takes five minutes to get to the top. It fits a hundred people in here and you can see the famous Piz Gloria restaurant right there in the distance. To enjoy a very unique meal, or should I say a meal with a very unique view, come up to the Piz Gloria 360 degree rotating restaurant. Uh, it rotates once an hour and while you're sitting here, you can enjoy some spectacular views of the scenery. I ordered the 007 burger. This whole place is James Bond themed. It's 23 francs and it tasted kind of like I would expect a burger in Switzerland to taste. Burgers are kind of an American food so say we will about a Swiss burger. I think the cheese was Swiss cheese though. The Coke tastes mm, much like you expect Coca-Cola to taste. One thing I will say in this rotating restaurant if you leave to go to the bathroom make sure you remembered where you're sitting because your seat will actually be in a different place when you come back from the bathroom. This place is James Bond themed because the 007 movie On Her Majesty's Secret Service was filmed right in this restaurant. And this backdrop was featured in the movie. It's original from the time of the movie. You can see Bond right here in what they called the Alpine Room. Just one floor below the Piz Gloria restaurant is the Skyline Takeaway. You can get some cheaper fare here like sandwiches or muffins and sit out on one of these tables and enjoy the same view, just one that doesn't rotate. Around the other side from the snack shop is the Skyline Top Shop. Souvenirs and more. Just a floor below the snack shop, they've got restrooms that are, yes, James Bond themed. Men goes in Bonds. Women goes in Bond Girls. And just beyond the restrooms is Bond World, a James Bond inspired museum. And you walk in through a very interesting curtain where Bond shoots at you. Bond World is interesting if you've got a little bit of time to kill before your next cable car ride down. I'm not sure that in and by itself it's a big attraction though. The cable cars depart every 30 minutes and they've got countdown timers all around the building counting down to the next cable car departure. When you're all done, then it's time to take the cable car back down. Join the mob of people and get in line. Final thing I want to say though, make sure you bring sunscreen. If you see I have a lot of color in my face, it's because my face got a lot of sun yesterday at the Jungfrau. High elevations, lots of snow equals easy sunburn. When you're done with the mountain peak, if you want to get some exercise uh, on your way down, you can take the cable car down to Muren and then walk from Muren down to Gimmelwald. 
And on your way, if you like cows, you will like this walk because in the summer, the farmers bring their cows up here to graze. And if you're wondering where all the bells are coming from, it's from the cows. All of the cows have this really big bell on their neck. And uh, I think it's just pretty cool. It reminds me a little bit of like Buddhist chanting music, kind of. You know, they could just put a temple right here and then they wouldn't need to play their bell music. They could just have the natural music by the cows. In addition to cows, on the walk down the Gimmelwald, you will also find mountain sheep. Are they mountain sheep? Well, I'm not sure, but they are sheep on a mountain, which thereby makes them mountain sheep. The path to Gimmelwald from Murin is mostly paved, though eventually you will turn on to this little gravel path for the last five or ten minutes. Uh, you won't get too lost because if you just keep paying attention to where the cable car goes and follow the cable car line, then you'll get down to the Gimmelwald cable car stop. You'll get to the center of Gimmelwald when you get to this sign. This is their town square. Let's you know if you walked back up Hill to Murin that takes about 55 minutes but it's just two minutes that way to the cable car. Or you can walk a whole bunch of other places that way. Make it all the way down to Gimmelwald, you might see some of those cowbells hung decoratively on some of the houses. Those are some big cowbells. When you make it down to Gimmelwald, walk around a little bit. Here, you can get up close and personal to some cows. And as one of my colleagues said, they do look pretty handsome. And your final stop, if you're trying to get back to civilization, is the Gimmelwald cable car stop, right here. A tiny little one. And at the Gimmelwald station, both cable cars up and down arrive simultaneously. So if you're going all the way down, make sure you go the right way because you'll have two cars to pick from. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and got something useful out of it, please hit the thumbs up below or consider subscribing for new videos every weekend. Or you might like to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Links in the description or check out some of the other videos from our Switzerland series. Click on some of them here to watch or find their links in the description below as well. All right, bye-bye.